Hello everybody. Um, yeah, I want to go with a few more collection videos and I didn't know shall I go with some of the very new jerseys that I have but I said well I've done so many Lusk jerseys now there are only two left let's finish these and it's also a little bit fitting because Lusk had a um, pretty big signing uh, yesterday with um, well two days ago with Klaus uh, who is contrary with Hoffenheim but uh, he played last year in Finland became the uh, top leading goal scorer there, Brazilo Italian. That I actually, from what I hear, I'm quite excited about this player. So let's see whether he can uh, move us forward. And moving forward is exactly what I wanna wanna do. Um, all the last jerseys. I think this was the last one we looked at from the 1999-2001 season. Uh, where we had Puma and in the period in between um, you know we were relegated we had we wore uh, Puma for uh, I think a couple of seasons more it was actually a very interesting one black with white pinstripes uh, which I think was never available commercially because I would have wanted to have that uh, then we suddenly got Homer uh, and I think I want to say Yako or something like that came in between, but they, I know they, they, they came later too. But you know, we switched a lot of suppliers uh, in that time where we were in the second league, and um, then we suddenly got a deal with Umbro. And Umbro produced actually a really nice shirt in the 2006 or 7 season where we finally uh, got promoted. We had for it was the second year where we had Ivica Vastic. Who was it was actually a sensation that we got him he was he's, he he was got of course famous with Sturm Graz he scored the equalizer against Chile at the 98 World Cup um, broke basically every goal scoring record in the Austrian league while being with Sturm Graz and then suddenly I think he went for Japan a little bit uh, to Japan a little bit and then he came back to Austria to Austria Wien uh, and he led them and they're quite successful in a way, uh, even to, um, I, I know they they won the cup, I even want to say they won the championship uh, with him. And then suddenly, yeah, he, he was getting, getting old, but uh, was still a vital piece of the team. Let's got him. And he played for us and immediately we were really bad, really bad, even in the second league. Uh, we should have probably get promoted in the first season if the team would have stuck together and you know there was not so much unrest around the team there was the chance and then for three if not four years it was miserable absolutely miserable in the second league i mean it was always you were never in threat of getting relegated but it was mid-table which for a um, team of the status of lask in austria was not possible so Amber took over vastic took over we had a second place finish at first under him and then um 2006-7 with really great looking ambushers and I really would love to have this shirt um, they managed to finally get back in the Bundesliga we actually started with Vastic quite a run and it was so remarkable that Vastic even got called up to the Austrian national team for, uh, for Euro 2008 and became the only goal scorer there and the oldest goal scorer ever in Euro uh, history uh, at 38 he became the player of the year he had an absolutely amazing season last had an absolutely amazing season after three quarters they were in first place as a promoted team and then it just fizzled out and we finished again where we usually finish up until lately which was sixth place because we after winning a lot we lost a lot and it was in this season that i show you the jersey the home jersey that we had and interesting enough this was only for the first half of the season which in a way i'm happy of and i show you now so this is the jersey that we got umbro jersey um and as much as i was happy to get my parents gave uh got this for me to christmas 2000, 2007 i said i need a new last jersey and yeah that's what they got for me there are things that I like and then there are things that I dislike. I actually like that Umbro is taking over with this side here. Actually, this looks quite interesting. I think, uh, no, I don't have my Sweden jersey here. The Sweden jersey had a similar side here, which is quite nice. And there's actually some ventilation going with it, if you look closer. That's really, really nice going all above here. However, if you have this arc and you have a striped jersey, you are bound to have problems. and. The solution that they found is 
frankly the worst one. Um, first of all, you have the white collar going on the back and front and then it doesn't extend here. I don't like this. And then you have this weird shape here, just in black, and you only use it to put two sponsors, which is actually a major trash company, which is another thing that I don't like. Um, and yeah, then the stripes start here. I understand if you extend the stripes all the way up, it might also look weird, but I think it would give the jersey a little bit more uh, cohesion. Now, um, the way that the logos are put, they started to put, first of all, this logo is the um, coat of arms of Upper Austria. And Lask is always seen not as a team, the team for Linz, but really the team of the whole entire region, Upper Austria. So it makes sense for them to wear this and I actually am quite proud. Uh, this gets smaller and smaller these days. I really would like to have it instated uh, that boldly. And it also is fitting that the Umbro logo is centered. And here is the league logo, uh, which Austrian teams have to wear on the chest. All the other big leagues have it on the sleeves. But the second eyesore is this logo. What the... you know what. Look at here. This is how the original was supposed to be. This is what they made it to be. It just looks awful. Uh, just extend it over, make it a proper logo. This looks completely detached. Uh, it's also printed on, which at first I thought is odd, but I think I like it because I know it will not come off. And which leads me to another problem. Uh, that I'll show in a bit here is the sign that's an original. I actually even like that, you know, there is this curve on the bottom. So there, there are things that I like. Now, speaking of coming off, here on the back, you can see that it extends up and that actually, I think this looks better this way. I don't understand why they have this. I really don't understand. I think it looks better just this way. Also, look at the sleeves, how nicely they're done with the white. I think the sleeves look good. If this was repeated here, I think we will talk really, really nice Lask jersey. Now, uh, we have, of course, the sponsor also printed in and then unfortunately not printed in. It's the player name. And you can see, I have, of course, a stitch because he was that great. It's golden lettering and unfortunately it washes out. I'm actually a little bit devastated with how damaged this is. Um, I wanted to wear this more often but it's absolutely damaged and there is nothing I can really do about it. This was golden lettering, which, yeah, is weird. I think the solution with the black box here is a rather smart one, but unfortunately uh, that shirt is quite damaged. Because, and for that reason, I won't wear it too much anymore. And if I wear it, I probably will do a hand wash with it. Uh, but you know, I have enough other last jerseys and I think this one here is anyway my go-to. I really like this one. Uh, just the last one here, you see the league logo, Max Bundesliga. This is T-Mobile. T-Mobile bought Max and then it was called for years the T-Mobile Bundesliga. Very quick side note. Um, I forgot to say it in the, in, in the video, so I say it right here now. Um, this weird shape on the last jersey that I showed you here was actually removed for when 2007 went into 2008. This jersey was actually only worn in 2007, hence the title only 2007, because then they made the modification back there and the jersey looked a lot more re reasonable. I will try to find a picture and post it somewhere here uh, of the jersey in 2008. But this version was only worn for a very short time uh, in the fall of 2007. That makes it, I guess, a little bit more special. Sorry for this short interjection, back to the video. Let me know how you like this jersey, whether you agree with me with this this is the part that bothers me most. Uh, everything else, and the logo, everything else is quite sweet on this one, I gotta say. But yeah, and of course I wish that the number was not washed out. Anyway, let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. There's one more last jersey I'm gonna cover until I get the next one. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.